sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Wow, cards just flying out for you. Um, it is the nine of wands. We'll get to that in a second. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Aries, your monthly general read for November. It's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, I just split the deck and the world showed itself to me, which is interesting. Um, so the messages that I'm getting for you right off the top, Aries, whose heart did you steal? I think they want it back. <laughs> I think they want it back. Aries. It feels like someone secretly, and it is coming through as a secret, um, wants to reconcile with you. But here's what I think nobody knows. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Aries. On some level, it kind of feels like you want to reconcile with them too, or at least want to know, or have been wanting to know that they secretly want to reconcile with you. Um, you did, I don't know that they've ever really felt a love like this before, or either you, them, them, you, sort of this one of a kind, one of a kind love. Now, what I will say is Aries, I don't feel like you're hung up and thinking about this constantly like maybe they are um, and this is just current energy right but I feel like you're kind of going on doing your own thing if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't probably most of the time you don't even think about it but they do they do so I don't really feel like you're stuck I feel like you're doing your thing I feel like you're not really stuck I feel like you're not secretly wanting to reconcile with them on the level that they are with you now again this is sun moon rising in Venus and it is you know it could be someone that you're dealing with it could be their energy it could be your energy you know it, you know how energy works right but I do feel like they almost can't even like understand how this may even work because of Things that they may have caused in the past, harm, you know, hurt, deception, lies, whatever. You know, people hurt people. That's why they become an ex, right? Because you can't get it together. Um, I also feel like there's almost like tired of fighting this feeling. It's like they just want to reach out. I feel I'm feeling more like they want to travel to you, but I don't feel like they are going to. And I'm not sure why. I feel like either maybe they don't understand. They, they may not know that you feel the same way about them. That Because I kind of feel like... They don't feel like they would have a chance at this point. Like maybe you've grown so much or done so much or I'm um, feeling like they maybe don't feel like they are a match um, or they have, excuse me, maybe something to, to offer you. It's possible they can't get out of the contracts that they're currently in, um, you know, be it marriage, work, whatever. This could be a person across the world, a different county, definitely some distance. Like, I don't feel like y'all are in communication. If you were, then it wouldn't be a secret, right? Um, but I am, I am feeling like someone is trying to chalk this up to just a fantasy, but boy, are they fantasizing a lot, a lot. But I, I feel like they're trying to chalk it up to just a fantasy because it's like, how would that work? Like, I have too much responsibility. And even if I did that, you know, so-and-so would probably think that I'm running for my responsibility. So you could be dealing with a person who has um, maybe married to someone else, obligations to someone else, relations with someone else, children to take care of in the state or county or uh, fucking country or whatever this is for them. Um, but I am seeing, like, the truth is you really love one another. Um, I'm also, you may really want to be like letting, like trying to let that go, like trying to let time heal a situation. It's like, yeah, I want you. And that doesn't mean I can have you. I'm hearing, I don't know if that's your energy or theirs, probably both. Ten of cups. They do something, no matter what you've been through. And I do feel like you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. They still do it for you. They still do it for you. You might not have talked for nine or 10 years. You've grown a lot. That they still do it. The thought of them still does it for you and the thought of you still really does it for them because I mean, they are really, really thinking about you a lot, a lot. I feel like they're attached to something though. It feels like they, um, they have something that's holding them where they are. Woo. 
ten of coins in the reverse position. They're they're most likely. Um, look, did you see how like I couldn't even turn the card around? Like it don't even like it doesn't want to show itself. They're probably in another relationship, but they don't want to be. It's not working out. Ten of coins in the reverse position. That or they don't feel like they are on your level. You know, like status wise, money wise. Uh, career-wise, whatever. They don't feel like they have something um, really solid to offer you. They don't feel like they could um, be a match for you or get on your level or something like that. But you're getting two tens back to back, nine, ten, ten. I do feel like there's a cycle about to complete. So either y'all are going to finally break away from each other and, you know, whatever, or some of you will be reconciling. Or, like, because I am seeing someone, like, I just can't take it anymore. Like, I just, I can't take it. I need to give in to this. Like, I'm tired of having a conversation with myself every night to try to get this person out of my head. I'm just ready to just give in. I'm ready to talk to them. I'm ready to see them. I'm hearing, I am ready to hold her again. They can, this came through in another reading. Something about the smelling of the shampoo or the perfume like they are smelling you or rem, rem, no it feels like like y'all are so deeply connected like they walk in a room or they lay down and there's like they they swear they can smell your scent on their pillow even though you are nowhere around and haven't been around for quite some time like i said nine ten years for some of you I also feel like with this Queen of Swords coming in after this Ten of uh, Coins, what I was going to say is I also feel like um, they don't, someone here doesn't want to just come from a broken relationship, broken home kind of unit, broken like directly to you. Like, because I feel like it would look as if, well, that didn't work out. So now I'm coming to you when it's not that at all. I don't feel like this person ever really gave you up in their heart which is kind of unfair to the other person if you think about it because that other person really never had a chance but neither here nor there or you know whatever you know I do feel like th th neither one like you've, you've moved on both of you have moved on and not tried to be in contact and but the connection is still there it's still there after all this time and oh sorry <laughs> sorry Sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Hamburger man. <laughs> Fucking Pee Wee Herman. Some of y'all are like, what the fuck is she talking about? Hey, if you don't know about Cheech and Chong, I don't know about you. Mm. With the Ten of Wands in the reverse position, I'm telling you about the, the responsibility. They feel like, it's like they don't want to, even though, like, this is... <laughs> What makes them content if they were to do, I feel like we're dealing with somebody who has a whole family, <laughs> like a whole family that they're probably going to end up walking away from anyways, or that family is walking away from them or whatever the situation is there. It is definitely a broken home. But if they were to come to you, it would look like, you, you know, I just came to you because that didn't work out and really not even giving themselves time to heal. And it would also look like probably to the other person or to the family that they were like just fleeing from their responsibilities, you know? And, that, and that's not it. That's not it at all. But that's what it would look like. To nine, ten, ten, queen, ten. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> something's happening. Something's happening. The Six of Cups. I am telling you with the star. Oh, honey, this is so divinely guided. That's why you can't stop thinking about each other. That's why you're still in each other's hearts. That's why they can smell you. You're meant to be. You are connected. Whatever that connection may be. I mean, just at the very least, maybe friends. I don't really know, but it's um, y'all are connected. Nothing you can do about that. Not on that level, you know. And it, this is this is a long time. It's a long time. Six of Cups is long-standing relationships. With that Two of Swords, I do feel like they're stuck in the situation that they're in. I do feel like they're they're trying to put it to the side. I feel like both of you have tried for a very long time to put this connection to the side. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. 
The great thing I will say about this though is I feel I do feel like you've both grown a lot. Like you you've not put your life on hold for anyone or it's it's not that type of situation like you've just been waiting around for this person or they've been waiting around for you. I mean, you really gave it your all to start a completely new life, continue on and grow, but facts are facts and these are facts and y'all are still connected and y'all still really want each other. A strong connection. Very strong. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I'm not really putting any signs on it. You've got every element out here, but you do have Aquarius and Capricorn specifically. Um, but there is a very, very deep, strong bond here that is divine. That sorry, sorry, not sorry. I'm again, I don't remember what reading it was, but I'm again drawn to that that little hourglass there in the bottom uh, right hand corner of that card. And I do feel like it is time. It's time for some cycles to start completing themselves, ending out. It's time to start wrapping some things up. And um, whether this is, you know, moving on or making room in your heart space, the thing though is the connection is still going to be there. And I'm not getting like a toxic connection with that devil or karmic or all that. I just get that it's a very, very strong. It's a very strong bond. Why? Because it's a divine one. The queen of coins in the reverse position. Again, I don't feel like they feel as if they are stable enough to offer you something stable. Or even if they've just come out of a relationship or whatever. I just feel like they really understand like that looks really shitty. Like I'm not going to do that. That that looks really bad. Timing. I'm getting timing like a lot. Queen of Cups, you're both you both intuitively know what's up. Hell the other person probably knows that y'all are connected. Shit. I feel like this is like a secret that's not a secret, right? Um Yeah. Y'all are connecting on such a deep deep level. And I'm hearing Bittersweet Symphony by uh, the Verve, Verve, Verve Pipe, I think is what they're called. Um, the Three of Wands in the reverse position, I'm telling you, there's so much distance here. This is this person is definitely at a distance, but like I said, I don't feel like they're moving towards you right now. The Eight of Cups, okay, but they, they I feel like, honestly, I feel like they're, they are either walk, trying to walk away from you, and it's not physical. I feel like they're trying to walk away from the feelings that they have for you, but it's like, I can't control it. I'm sorry. I even feel like they're trying to reason and apologize with someone. Like, I'm sorry that I love him. I'm sorry that I love her. Like, we don't choose these connections. I'm seeing is like, and I'm sorry. Like, this Queen of Cups, I'm getting intuition heavy, 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 because it's coming right underneath that Ten of Cups. It's like... We might as well be the same person on, on some levels, but I feel like they're trying to walk away from what they have, like this connection with you. But they're also getting ready to walk away and trying to walk away from what they're currently in, which seems to be, I gotta say it, a shit show. And they need to walk, because you go from the three of wands in the reverse to the eight of cups. They really need to walk away from what they are in and give themselves time to heal before they can come toward you as well. And I feel like they know that they understand that. I feel like you've been through a lot with this person and there's been enough harm and hurt done for five lifetimes I'm hearing specifically. Um, as the emperor falls out in the reverse position with the five of wands in the reverse position and the queen of wands in the reverse position. Um, like I said, I feel like there's been enough hurt and harm done, uh, for five lifetimes. Like, cause I don't want to hurt. I'm cause I'm here. Like I would never want to hurt this person again. I don't know what's happened between you two, but whatever it was, it just seems like a really sad, fucked up thing. It's like, if I could take it back, I would, but would I? Because we learned so much there. I'm hearing we learned so much there and you even have activated each other. Wow. This is getting really deep, really quick. Well, that escalated quickly. Um, so you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, you've got a lot of fire out here. You got earth, you know, like I said, I wouldn't really just specify with a sign, but, um, I do feel like someone is being controlled. There's there's definitely a raging feminine energy involved. Probably a fire sign or an earth sign, but you know, however, 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 
what <laughs> like I'm I'm hearing her like talk to somebody else like well his feelings for her is like the fucking pink elephant in every room and I'm hearing it just like that I don't even know like why they're saying it like that but it's like yeah his relationship with her and even his love for her and I'm even God, this is getting really sad really quick because the other person, because I really feel like they're still in a relationship but that, that, that they don't want to be in. That, 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 <laughs> Why am I stuttering? I feel like even with if this is confronted, like they start to stutter, like they don't know what to say because it's, I just keep getting like it's not my fault. Like it's not my fault that we're connected. Like spiritual beings having a human experience. You think we don't have spiritual connections? Like, are you fucking retarded? I'm sorry. I'm hearing like, I'm giving you my all. What do you, what do you want from me? And Aries is over here. Like, I, I'm minding my business. Like, I feel like Aries is like here and understands what's going on. But I don't, I feel like I'm getting a lot more of the other person's shit that they're going through versus Aries. I feel like Aries is like just kind of living their life and understands like, yeah, we have a connection. I gotta live still. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like Aries is kind of at peace with it and the other person is not. Eight of Cups in the reverse position just flew away for whatever reason. They can't, I'm getting on both. Like they can't walk away with the Three of Swords. They can't walk away from you energetically because it's not possible in this type of divine connection. And they can't walk away from the other person right now for whatever reason, but I trust that they want to. Their heart is broken. And this is another thing is like, I feel like, I feel really strongly that in the past, you two have consoled each other, even maybe when you were not together, or there's something about this connection that is every, like they've, I feel like someone, they really, they're going through a lot and they want to call on you. And even that is going to look bad. The Empress. I don't know if y'all have children together or ha had had as in the children are not physically here um, and they may have children in this other relationship because I'm telling you they're dealing with a whole house, a whole house. Yeah. With the two of uh, cups in the reverse position and the queen of swords. Look, what I'm getting here is like they can't or they don't think that they can walk away even though they're completely heartbroken. I feel like this is from current current child's parent right here even though they know this is not the mate for them this is not the mate for them they want to cut it out and they can't they cannot they have to stay here and nurture this even though they do not feel in this relationship like they know they have felt and even and i'm hearing it just like this i'm so sorry they don't feel in their current relationship and have never felt in their current relationship a piece of how strongly they felt for you even when your relationship was at its most broken, brutal, toxic state. That is a fucking mouthful. Six of uh, Swords coming from the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck looking right up to the lovers. I mean, they are fantasy. Like, they are thinking nonstop about what possibly could be if they get out of this situation, if they can get around contacting you, if, you know, there's maybe a way, what could have been if they hadn't done this or you hadn't done that. Or, I mean, they are thinking so hard about you Aries which is probably why the entire reading they are what came through versus you <laughs> so that is what I have for you I love you so much and I'll see you next time